Have you ever wondered why certain activities make you feel happier than others? Could it be influenced by two particular chemicals in our bodies, serotonin and dopamine? These are not just simple molecules, but crucial components that play a significant role in determining our mood, our emotions, and potentially, our happiness. Now, what if I told you that these chemicals could be the secret ingredients to a happier life? Intriguing, isn't it? Imagine understanding the nature of your happiness, not from a philosophical or psychological perspective, but from a biochemical one. Imagine being able to trace your joy back to these two little chemicals dancing around in your system. But what exactly are serotonin and dopamine? How do they function in our bodies and influence our moods? And most importantly, how can we increase their levels to boost our happiness? Let's delve into the fascinating world of serotonin and dopamine and see how they might hold the key to our happiness. First, let's introduce our two main characters in this story of happiness, serotonin and dopamine. These aren't heroes from the latest blockbuster movie, but they're just as important. They're neurotransmitters, chemicals that transmit signals in the brain, each with their unique roles in our bodies. Let's meet serotonin first. Often called the feel-good neurotransmitter, serotonin is a chemical derived from the amino acid tryptophan. It's manufactured in the brain and the intestines with the majority found in the gastrointestinal tract. But don't let that fool you. Serotonin has a significant impact on the entire body. It helps regulate mood, social behavior, appetite, digestion, sleep, memory, and even sexual desire and function. It's like the jack of all trades in the neurotransmitter world. Now, on to dopamine, the reward neurotransmitter. Dopamine is produced in several areas of the brain, including the substantia nigra and the ventral tegmental area. It's a bit of a thrill seeker, playing a key role in how we experience pleasure. It's released when we do something we enjoy, like eating our favorite food or achieving a goal. Dopamine helps reinforce these positive actions, encouraging us to do them again. It's also involved in memory and focus, making it a crucial player in our body's game of happiness. But how do these two interact? Think of them like partners in a dance. Serotonin helps keep our mood balanced, preventing us from falling into a state of depression or anxiety. Dopamine, on the other hand, motivates us to seek out experiences that bring us joy and satisfaction. Together, they create a harmony of emotions, keeping us content, motivated, and yes, happy. So, in essence, these two chemicals are the conductors of your body's happiness orchestra. They're continually working behind the scenes, guiding the symphony of signals that influence how we think, feel, and behave. It's a complex performance, but when serotonin and dopamine are in sync, it results in a beautiful composition we know as happiness. Now that we've met serotonin and dopamine, it's time to understand their connection to our happiness. These two chemicals play a crucial role in our brain's reward circuitry, influencing how we perceive and interact with the world around us. They are the conductors of our body's symphony of joy, satisfaction, and well-being. Let's break it down. Dopamine is often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter. It is released when we experience something pleasurable or rewarding, sparking feelings of happiness and satisfaction. Whether it's a bite of your favorite chocolate cake or a heartwarming compliment from a friend, that burst of joy you feel, that's dopamine at work. On the other hand, serotonin acts as a mood stabilizer. It helps regulate our mood, appetite, and sleep, contributing to our overall sense of well-being. When serotonin levels are balanced, we feel happier, calmer, and more focused. Low levels, however, can lead to feelings of sadness and anxiety. Now, how do these two chemicals interact? Well, it's a delicate dance. Dopamine and serotonin don't operate in isolation. They interact and influence each other to maintain emotional balance. For instance, a surge in dopamine can momentarily suppress serotonin production, while balanced serotonin levels can enhance dopamine's positive effects. But their influence is not just confined to our brains. These chemicals communicate with other organs too. For example, they interact with our gut, often referred to as our second brain. That's why we often experience physical symptoms like butterflies in the stomach when we're nervous or a loss of appetite when we're sad. So how can we influence these chemicals? Well, that's a story for another scene. But for now, remember this. Our happiness is not just an abstract concept. It's a tangible biological process influenced by these two remarkable chemicals dancing together in our bodies. In other words, these two chemicals are the secret sauce in your happiness recipe. So, how can we increase levels of serotonin and dopamine in our bodies to boost our happiness? This question brings us to the next phase of our journey. Let's start with exercise. 
a natural mood booster. When we get our heart rates up, our bodies respond by releasing both serotonin and dopamine. It's not just about high-intensity workouts either. A brisk walk or a gentle yoga session can do the trick too. The key is consistency. Making exercise a regular part of our routine helps maintain a steady flow of these happiness hormones. Next, let's talk about diet. Certain foods are rich in tryptophan, a precursor to serotonin. You can find it in foods like turkey, eggs, and salmon. Similarly, foods high in tyrosine, such as bananas and avocados, can help increase dopamine levels. But remember, it's all about balance. Eating a varied and nutritious diet helps to keep these chemicals at optimal levels. Now, let's bring some light into the picture. Exposure to sunlight can stimulate the production of serotonin. Just a few minutes in the sun can make a significant difference. It's nature's way of helping us to feel good. But remember to protect your skin. Even on the quest for happiness, sun safety should remain a priority. Then there's the power of positivity. Engaging in activities that make you feel good, like listening to your favorite music, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing a hobby, can trigger the release of serotonin and dopamine. It's about finding joy in the little things and nurturing a positive mindset. Lastly, let's not forget about sleep. Quality sleep is vital for the production and regulation of these happiness hormones, so make sure to prioritize good sleep hygiene. As we've seen, increasing our happiness hormones isn't about quick fixes. It's about embracing a balanced lifestyle that includes regular exercise, a nutritious diet, sunlight, positivity, and quality sleep. It's a long-term commitment, but one with a rewarding payoff. Remember, maintaining a healthy lifestyle is not just good for your body, but also for your happiness levels. But how would you know if you have sufficient levels of serotonin and dopamine in your body? That's a question many of us may ponder. Well, there are certain signs that could indicate a deficiency in these crucial neurotransmitters. Feelings of depression, insomnia, and anxiety could all be red flags. You might also experience a lack of motivation, a decrease in pleasure or satisfaction, or even physical symptoms such as digestive issues or chronic pain. However, it's crucial to remember that these symptoms can also be associated with many other conditions. Therefore, if you suspect a deficiency, it's best to consult with a medical professional. They can measure these levels through a series of tests, including blood tests and brain imaging techniques. By being aware of these signs and seeking professional advice when needed, you're equipping yourself with the knowledge to better understand your body's chemistry. Knowing your serotonin and dopamine levels could be an important step towards understanding your own happiness. Lastly, let's explore how the smallest joys can trigger these happiness hormones. Now, you might be wondering, what are these small joys? Simply put, they are the seemingly insignificant moments or things that bring a smile to our faces. They are the everyday delights that, while often overlooked, have the power to boost our mood and overall happiness. Consider the burst of pleasure you feel when you take that first sip of morning coffee, the warmth of a gentle sunrise, the spontaneous laughter shared with a friend, or even the satisfaction of completing a challenging task. These are all small joys. And while they may seem trivial in the grand scheme of things, they are, in fact, significant contributors to our happiness. Why is that, you ask? Well, these small joys stimulate the release of serotonin and dopamine in our bodies. Let's take the example of completing a challenging task. This accomplishment triggers a dopamine release, the reward hormone, giving us a sense of satisfaction and pleasure. Similarly, the warmth of a gentle sunrise can boost our serotonin levels, the mood stabilizer hormone, making us feel calm and content. But the beauty of small joys lies not only in their ability to stimulate these happiness hormones, but also in their accessibility. They are all around us, waiting to be noticed and appreciated. And the more we attune ourselves to these moments, the more we train our brains to recognize and savor them, thereby enhancing our overall happiness. So, how can you cultivate an appreciation for small joys? Start by being present in the moment. Pay attention to your surroundings and your experiences. Celebrate your achievements no matter how small. Reach out to loved ones. Engage in activities you enjoy. And remember, it's not about the size of the joy but the impact it has on your happiness. So, in the pursuit of happiness, remember to appreciate the small joys in life. They might just be the serotonin and dopamine boost you need.